We're here. And it's Friday. Finally, on to the weekend. I just wish there was a long one. Me too. Stay tuned to find out more. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Good morning, Titans. It's Friday, September 5th, 2014. I'm Emerald. And I'm Matthew. Today is also known as National Be Late for Something Day. That doesn't mean you should be late for class. Being late for class will earn you a lunch detention. Getting tardies to class may also earn you your way to Saturday school as well. And on today's Mars behavior, we are looking for accountability. Being accountable means to be uh, bring a writing utensil. Bringing a writing utensil to the class will make you prepared for your assignments waiting for you. So always be prepared. As for other administrative reminders, don't forget that Saturday school starts back up tomorrow. Also this month, a couple students will, will be intended to attend an ex extended school day. Those that are invited will be expected to attend. The good news is that they will be provided with dinner. And finally, don't forget to keep, uh, help keep our campus beautiful. Mrs. Scott and his team are working hard to keep our campus safe and clean. But right now, don't change that channel. We have more for you. School announcements are up next. Welcome back everyone, I'm Angelina Fraga and I'm Zachariah Robinson with the morning announcements. First off, let's not forget about going, bringing in box tops. The PTA will need them ASAP and there are usually special prizes for the given class with the most. In other news, our school is meeting up with Chick-fil-A for a fundraiser. It goes on September 8th from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. This is an amazing way to help ourselves out by helping the school. All you need to do is eat at Chick-fil-A on September 8th and let them know that you were there for JSAA. Also, Miss Arthur is looking for recyclable items for her art projects. Soda cans or water bottles. New papers. House plant. Um, plastic containers like plastic or bowls or butter tubes or microwave frozen meal containers. Wire hangers. And toilet paper tubes. Besides all of that, we'd also love to remind you about a few dress days coming up. The first one is today, and it is going on for $3. Our next one is October 10th. And be sure to purchase those passes ahead of time. And finally, the grade who, who first reaches 100% to turn in the student netbook and laptop rental agreement marked paid. Or other agreements that have been paid meant. Won a cookie party for the entire grade. Eighth grade is certainly in the lead for a paltry 45%. Seventh grade has a tennis hold on second place with a depressing 43%. And sixth grade is in the terrible last place with 41%. That's it for now. This has been Zachary Robinson and Angelina Fraga. Club and events are up next. What are you doing with my cookies? Club's Club's up next. 
Good morning, Titans. My name is Larry Romero. And I'm Patrick Milne. Today we're going to be covering clubs and after-school activities that will be going on this year. This year, there will be many clubs and after-school activities for you Titans to be a part of. And most are only a couple weeks away from starting. Now for things that we have to look forward to. This year, you should be expecting a broadcasting club. Also, pre-engineering will preserve this year. Drama is another is another after-school activity that you Titans can be a part of. Also, hopefully, most of you Titans will sign up for yearbook. Yearbook is on Thursday, starting on September 11th. Let's make memories this year. Don't forget to grab a permission slip for Mrs. Adams starting next week. Make sure you Titans pre-order your yearbooks. Same price as last year. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars if it is ordered before winter break, and ten dollars after winter break. There will be an inform informational meeting for the Battle of the Books on Thursday, September 11th, after school. If you are a kid who enjoys reading and would like to be around other people who love reading, come to the informational club meeting. That goes on in Mrs. Sogan's room, one 113 after school on Thursday, September 11th. This year, Environmental Club is starting. You Titans should go green, should go green for five of the following reasons. One, clean air. Two, go green. Makes you a better person. Three, clean water. Four, trees are protected. And finally, if we go green, mankind shall live longer. So please, Titans, take care of your earth. National Junior Honor Society will be happening this year. Art Club will also continue this year. And orchestra. Ladies, this year keep your eyes and ears open for girl power. Well, this has been Ray Romero. And I'm Patrick Mill. Don't forget, you can take the activity bus for any of the clubs. Stay tuned for sports. Sports is next. Good morning, Titans. This is Maria Perez. And Crystal Lynch with K-Rocket Sports. First up, girls, track has their first track meet tomorrow at Gary Berry Stadium from 8 to 12. Your physicals must be turned in no later than September 21st. <laughs> For physicals? <laughs> I'm sorry. For physicals, the Ronald McDonald Medical Services is coming Tuesday, September 16th. And on Friday, September 19th, Ronald McDonald's Dental Services is coming. Be sure to call the Ronald McDonald Care Mobile at 866-6789 to set up an appointment. If you also need a physical if you are interested in joining your my shot, go to Ryan mm. in a wrestling preseason clinic after school. Wow. Start next Monday. Anybody and everybody is welcome to come see what the sport of wrestling is all about. Your physicals must be turned no later than September 21st. Keep in mind that you cannot participate until Coach has that. So you. <laughs> Next, we have two majorly important announcement. It's okay. important. Okay. It's important. Okay. If you are interested in joining real football, be sure to join Soccer Club. You. Yes, you. The first meeting is on Tuesday in Miss Adams' room. In room 160. Then, on Wednesday morning, we'll have an intramural soccer in the gym. So, be there no later, please, than 7.15. So, what's the big deal with all this? Well, it would appear as if our first competitive soccer game is on the 13th. You mean next Saturday? Yep, fast, I know. It's also on Judarius' birthday. Hmm. In NFL news, West Weekle Weaker, uh, Welker of uh, the Denver Broncos has been suspended without pay for the first game four games of the 2014 Regular season of violating the NFL policy performance enhancing sub -senses. 
Welker will be able to return to the Broncos active roster on Monday, October 6th, following the team's October 5th game against the Arizona Cardinals. <coughs> That's it for today, except for the joke. Do we really have to do this? Yep. Knock, knock. Who's there? A broken pencil. Broken pencil who? Never mind, this is pointless. That's all, folks. I'm Maria Perez. And Christian Lawrence. Before we go, would everyone please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.